Hello, I'm Angela Wamboy, and these are the stories making headlines on Capital TV. The Kenya Defense Forces say 51 Al-Shabaab militants were killed when Amisam launched a major artillery bombardment in Somalia. Interior spokesman Mwenda Joka has clarified that the Garissa University attack mastermind Mohamed Mahamoud alias Gamadare is not among the dead. Joka had earlier told Capital Newsbeat that Gamadare, who has a 20 million shilling bounty on his head, was among those killed in a U.S. drone attack. U.S. President Barack Obama has outlined his agenda for his highly anticipated visit to Kenya later this month. Obama says he will be keen to discuss how the U.S. government can support the progress Kenya has already made in the areas of health and education. He says his visit will also focus on the areas of corruption and terrorism, which are some of the biggest challenges Kenya faces. Uh, and my hope is, is that uh, we can deliver a message that the U.S. Is, is a strong partner, not just for Kenya, but for sub-Saharan Africa generally, build on the progress that's been made around issues of health and uh, education. But while acknowledging that his visit will be symbolic, he says his visits to the country as a private citizen were more meaningful to him. Uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, visiting Kenya as a private citizen uh, is probably um, uh, more meaningful to me than, than visiting as president because I can actually get outside of a hotel room or a conference center. Um, and just the logistics of visiting a place are always tough as president. Um, but it's obviously symbolically important. Gatondo South Member of Parliament Moses Kuria wants the media barred from his hate speech trial over alleged bias. His lawyer, Danson Mungatana, claims that Kuria has been tried and condemned by the media over alleged hate speech. The MP who appeared before Milimani resident magistrate Teresa Nyangena could end up in jail after the director of public prosecutions applied to have his bail canceled for continued hate speech despite facing trial over similar charges. DPP Kerriako Tobiko moved to court last week under a certificate of urgency seeking to have Kuria's bond canceled after he was accused of making remarks inciting machete-welding youth to kill anyone opposed to the NYS projects. Kakamega Senator Bonnie Halawale says he will not be cowed by the group of rowdy youth who accosted him outside the Milimani Law Courts earlier today. Halawale was in court seeking to have the order that bars him from publicly speaking about the loss of funds at Mumia Sugar lifted. Nairobi Governor Evans Kidero obtained orders barring Halawale from linking him to the alleged corruption scam at the sugar milling company after the legislator publicly accused him of theft when he was at the helm. And now, taking a look at the world of business, President Uhuru Kenyatta says the lack of professionalism in the Kenya infrastructure sector remains problematic. President Kenyatta says his government will not continue to accept shoddy works or extended timelines on infrastructure projects. He has therefore called on Kenyan contractors to learn from their Japanese counterparts on the best business practice. He expressed the concerns at the opening of the Kenya-Japan Quality Infrastructure Conference. Still on matters of business, Kenya will host the 5th Tokyo International Conference on Africa Development next year after successfully persuading Gambia to drop its bid as the host of the summit. Deputy President William Ruto, who is in Gambia, has successfully lobbied the country to support Kenya's bid to host the event that will bring African, Japanese and international institution leaders and investors to Nairobi. Kenya has lately generated interest from global investors keen to establish manufacturing companies in the country to spur development. 
And that's a wrap up of the day's top stories. I've been your host, Angela Wamboy. For more on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. And remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Capital FM Kenya.